Hello there, welcome to Disney Parks Attic. Today, I'll be sharing my attraction guide for all the water slides and other activities at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Typhoon Lagoon opened in 1989 and was the second water theme park to open in the Walt Disney World Resort after the now defunct River Country, which closed in 2001. Its sister park, Disney's Blizzard Beach, was added in 1995 and the two parks are linked by their mascots, Laguna Gator and Ice Gator respectively. One of the main features of Typhoon Lagoon is the massive wave pool that is actually the largest in North America. It pumps out six foot waves every 90 seconds. The waves are so big that you can actually go surfing before the park opens or after it closes for an extra charge. Of course, the power that the waves create can be dangerous, but with the size of the pool, there are plenty of areas for younger guests to still enjoy the bobbing waves and swells, as well as lots of lifeguards that are always on the lookout to help. A huge sandy beach surrounds the wave pool, which is the best place to relax and enjoy the sun in between slides. In a shallow and secluded area of the wave pool, younger guests under 60 inches can also enjoy the bay slides. These are fun beginner water slides which are perfect for kids' first ever water attraction. To get to the wave pool, you will need to walk over Castaway Creek, a lazy river that circles around the giant wave pool with lots of beautiful scenery throughout. It takes roughly 20 minutes to enjoy all of Castaway Creek and there are plenty of entry and exit points, so it's a great way to travel around the park. Behind the massive wave pool, you won't be able to miss Mount Mayday and Miss Tilly, a shrimp boat that sits precariously on the peak of the giant volcanic mountain. Many of the park slides are housed in and around the park's icon as well as plenty of waterfalls and amazing scenery which can all be seen via the mountain trail, a selection of walking paths set at the base of the mountain. This is the only dry attraction in the park and a great way to see the amazing Typhoon Lagoon. To the left of Mount Mayday are three raft rides, starting with Keel Hall Falls. This is a very smooth single rider tube slide that is very scenic and can be quite fast. It is an enjoyable slide for guests of all ages and is the mildest of the three raft rides. Next is Mayday Falls, which is a much more intense single rider tube slide and the highest and longest attraction in the park. You will swerve through caves, go under rustic wooden bridges and speed past crashing waterfalls all before hitting the final splashdown. This is one of the most exciting slides in all of Typhoon Lagoon. The final raft ride is Gangplank Falls, a family raft ride for up to four guests per raft. Similar to Mayday Falls, you will travel through caves, under bridges, past drenching waterfalls, all while spinning and banking side to side. This is a great slide for all the family to enjoy. Next to the raft rides is Ketcha Kitty Creek, a large play area for younger guests under 48 inches that features small slides and fountains. There are water features that spray everywhere, including a tugboat and a mixture of aquatic animals. There is also a small sandy beach for the kids to enjoy, which completes the perfect play area that will keep them entertained all day. On the other side of Mount Mayday are two different types of body slides for you to enjoy. Humunga Kawabunga are a trio of speed slides that plummets guests down five stories in complete darkness. This attraction is not for the faint-hearted, so be prepared as this is one of the most extreme slides in Typhoon Lagoon. For a little less extreme but just as fun body slide, you can choose Storm Slides. Here you can choose between three slides that zips you down three stories through the many sharp twists and turns before ending up in the splash pool. Each slide is unique, so you may as well try them all out. The next attraction is the newest in the park, Miss Adventure Falls. Added in 2017, this family raft ride is based around the character Mary Oceaneer, a member of the Society of Adventurers and Explorers. This is a special group that links many different Disney attractions found all around the world. The ride features an audio animatronic of Mary's parrot companion, Duncan, as well as enclosed tunnels, dips, turns, and amazing theming throughout. Be sure not to miss this one. We now come to the final attraction in Typhoon Lagoon, the amazing Crush and Gusher. Set in an abandoned fruit processing plant, you will have a choice of three awesome water coasters. You can choose from Banana Blaster, Coconut Crusher, and Pineapple Plunger. 
You can either ride solo or with a partner in a two-person raft as powerful water jets shoot you up, down and around. This totally unique attraction will have you riding again and again. There are also a variety of different restaurants at Typhoon Lagoon serving quick service food like pizzas, burgers, salads, rice bowls and ice creams as well as a few fully licensed bars. Singapore Sals is the main shopping location near the front entrance of the park. Here you can rent lockers and towels as well as choosing from a selection of swimwear, sundries and of course plenty of Disney merchandise. So that sums up our guide for Disney's Typhoon Lagoon and if you haven't booked your next Disney trip then why not check out UndercoverTourist.com for some great deals on Disney hotels and tickets. And if you're watching from the UK take a look at the amazing Disney packages that Virgin Holidays are offering right now. Both my affiliate links are in the description box below so go check it out to see how much you could save on your next Disney vacation. Disney's Typhoon Lagoon does close every year for an annual maintenance so make sure you check the My Disney Experience app or the Disney World website to see if it is open during your visit. If you enjoyed the video you may be interested in one of my other 2022 Walt Disney World attraction guides right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Disney Parks Addict.